Okay, so the next thing we want to solder is the positive terminal. So in the positive terminal I have the black wire coming from the positive lead of the capacitor. That comes in here. I have D1 with the, the band or the stripe uh, end on the diode pointing towards the positive terminal. And then I have my, uh, in this case, orange wire and that will go off to the board. So all three of those wires need to be soldered in here. Okay, so same principles apply here, just like they did on the MOSFETs, but it's a lot uh, bigger sink here. It's going to pull a lot of energy out of this iron, so it's going to take time to heat it to get it to flow all the way through. You know you're getting it hot enough when you can melt it way over here on this side, the opposite side of where your iron is, and it starts to melt that solder. Then you're getting that joint hot enough, and you just want to keep shoving solder into it. Now I'm watching the exit on the far side there, looking for uh, the copper wires getting themselves tinned or sucking up solder. Okay, now don't bump it. Let it cool completely off. When you move solder and it's in liquid state, or it's in that um, plastic state when it's transitioning between liquid to a solid, it will distort and fracture. So you want it to cool down. So give it um, give it three or four minutes. It's uh, definitely don't want to. Think. After four minutes, go ahead and do the cell negative.
Okay, and we let it sit and cool off. Okay, so the cell negative, the only wire that goes to that is the one that goes down to the MOSFET. Just a single wire in this case. Um, there are some units that will run the, uh, the D1 from the positive over to the cell negative. Um, in this configuration, uh, D1 goes down and joins the bus in the middle of the FETs uh, to help alleviate some of that uh, uh, rushing current that comes. Uh, that happens when the FETs shut off. Um, so we're trying to find a central point that um, that can join into that network. So we can solder the D1 next. You need to solder this joint right here. I actually wrapped it around and, and slightly smooshed it onto that bus wire. So it should be fairly easy to solder. D1 solder. That leaves one major connection to handle here. And that last connection is the uh, ground terminal. Now remember, this one's a little harder, and it's going to take a lot more heat, longer time, because it's actually connected to the case, so it's pulling, the case is pulling heat away as we're trying to solder it. <laughs> 